What's up Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Attila Total War campaign playing as the Saxons. And in the last part, we had some pretty bloody battles. We had to, uh, I'm pretty sure we had a fight down here. Yes, I was down here I believe where the two Roman legions are now. Um, basically we're making a push for Lugdun, L I don't know, this city here. Lugdunum, that's what we're going to call it. That's probably wrong, but that's how we're going to call it. And uh, this army here, but led by, well, it's now led by um, Ethelmer, but it was led by Hengist, um, perished, and uh, has been pushed back. But it, we will remake that army bigger and stronger. And now we have also struck a heavy blow to the Romans here, Argentacorum, Argentatorum, I don't know, another one that I can't really pronounce. <laughs> uh, we struck out from Urbazis and we destroyed their army here. So we took a legion for one of our armies. It's an eye for an eye. And uh, yes, our heir here, Elsa, or Esla, not Elsa. Elsa's the uh, frozen princess, isn't she? she? She's definitely not here. Imagine if she was leading our armies. She'd be singing Let It Go to all the men um, instead of leading them to a uh, victory. But anyway, yes, we have uh, secured another province and we will continue our push down to Italy and to Rome and uh, the end of this campaign is probably where I'm going to wrap it up. We can get to Rome and knock, uh, take Rome for ourselves. So we only have to go through a couple of settlements, so we could probably get there. And with every settlement that's taken, Rome gets weaker. And that's what we need. Um, but yes, here looks like there's going to be some more rebellions, even though we have armies all placed all over the place ready. It's not going to be enough. Um, and I'm going to start converting some of these to, um, well, to proper towns like Torps, like... Uh, well, in Britain, for instance, Britain, which is now basically a, a stronghold of mine. So anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play. I know we've had a little break from it due to Siege Week, but we are back. Uh, and we will be here for a while playing plenty of uh, Attila. And there'll be more of the Rome to Rise of the Republic campaign. Um, intermittently as well, when me and Scrim get round to recording it for it. There is another part due, um, for those that are interested due out later this week but after that we need to find more time to record more stuff because uh well it's hard to find time sometimes even in lockdown i'm i'm still busy with other things but it looks like the geeks are moving a lot of stuff around um so it'll be interesting to see what they do whether they uh actually start taking land from the romans because i know they're at war with the romans but they keep wanting to uh run away and do other stuff. And there we go, the two legions that fought us have retreated. Probably to safety and uh, replenish their forces. To strike out again maybe, but that's fine because we will have done the same. Belgica is, yep, ready to rebel. That is fine. Um, political favours, you can do that. You can all do that. Secret meetings, ah, not good. Balance of power has changed. And we've all gained offices, lovely. Um, Sabirs, that's great. I'm going to start my siege on Vasontio, mainly because... Why not? It's the real answer. Why am I not? Bone Carver, I could go with the Bone Carver. I definitely destroyed this one. I don't know why I haven't. I don't know why I haven't been dismantling this. Um, but this one I will convert. Probably to... Probably to... Uh, a smithy so I can get more of those uh, Nordic Warband I'm going to convert this uh, place to a Torp help with this uh, Colonial Grippiana yeah looking pretty rough as well because it's going to rebel let's see what we can do Visontio can go under siege its army's pretty healthy and yeah the garrison's non-existent here so we can just take this pretty easily um, we'll start recruiting more stuff here uh, it's not really one I want to recruit though. Won't lie. What can we? We can probably recruit better stuff here. I bet. Is that all? I'm almost sure of it. Yes, we can. Well, I say yes, we can. No, we can't really. Can we get any good mercenaries? That are also cheap. Not really. These axemen are pretty cheap, considering we have six grand coming in a turn. Not that I really want them. They do a lot better damage than my uh, spears though, which is not surprising. So they might be worth an option. Um, 
really would like to send this army elsewhere. I'm going to force march this army all the way through here. And I'm going to try and get it to... It's got to get to Abursis. Which you can do in, a t in one turn. And then we can recruit better mercs. Maybe better... Well, just generally, yeah, better mercs. Um, right, what can you do? You can be upgraded, apparently. What does this do? Public order? Well, I'm not too fussed about your public order. Do that, and we'll do integrity. There we go. That's going to improve this place ever so slowly. Again, though, this place is... Uh... Well, Britain... I, I would have said Britain's fairly stable. The north is actually more stable. And it's going to stay stable. Um... That's good. So the north's going to be fine. It's the south that's really the problem. Um, looks like Western Gaul is going to be lost. I mean, there's no chance of getting that. I would like to take this settlement so we can try and stabilize it onto Magus. After taking for the Sons here, I could definitely go for a look um, look That place. <laughs> I can't pronounce that one to save my life. And then onto Octodurum, um, which is probably the way we're going to go. I could probably also go for August of Indecorum if I wanted to at a later date. Um, Trevorum, I'd like to upgrade this, but public order would really is just a no-no. Um, the army here is looking great, though. Army is looking amazing. That army can definitely move out. Um, and I could upgrade stuff here. Could we upgrade anything to get the homeland? We could. This is going up plus three. It's cur yeah, currently going up plus three. I'd like to just save up, really, for this population surplus here and probably put in, like, something with public order. Um, I'm not really sure what. Something would be nice. Um, so I might save the rest of my money. Uh, actually, can I do anything politically first? Try and help. Uh, you've already got your stuff. Horses has already got his stuff. You've got your stuff. I mean, this guy can adopt people. You're pretty... Um, there's got to be a general around here. This guy's... Oh, he's in Britannia. He's not doing anything anytime soon. You're also a general. You're in Belgica. Where are you exactly, precisely? You're in this army. Okay. Yeah, you're not probably going to be doing anything either anytime soon. But this army will be. So I might adopt this guy. Because he's going to be doing stuff soon. And he's... Yeah, they're not of the same age. But I'd like to keep the control in the family and keep everyone there. Uh, just keep everyone doing their own thing. Um, secure loyalty. There's no need to secure loyalty. I could gain control. Gather support. Um, yeah, there's some gather some support. Let's do that. Um, and then diplomacy. That was what I was going to do. Sorry, I had a mind blank. What I was going to do? The Benedians. I'm sure you would like military access, but I'm not going to give it to you. I give a new military accents though. Let talk, and let us have good wine. You're a military ally. You're not an ally at all. We have need of but talk, I can't make sure. you an ally because you're food, allied with people fire. that I'm at war with, which include the Vandals. And the oh no, I've allied with the Vandals. So why can't I make an alliance with you? You're at war with oh you're at war with the Allens, which I am allied to. Ah, that is a problem. I look forward to your wisdom. Uh, not much I can do there. You are a tributary of mine. I forgot these guys are a tributary. Good, a noble friend. Um, they are at war with a few people, but not many. At war with these Quadians. I forgot I've got an I've got a tributary over here. Oh well, that's that's fairly handy. Um, Ostrogoths. Um, you. I look forward to your wisdom. Can't do much. Where are the Huns? Oh, they're here. They're really weak. They're rank Please 13. Don't bother with meaningless. Wow. That's not good. The Huns are really doing badly. It must be like an absolute mash. Good good choice of word there, but... I mean, it wasn't a great choice of word, but you know, I'll take it. Governor, yes, we'll definitely have you doing that. Um, integrity as well. Oh, not integrity. Uh, sorts out corruption and also sorts out public order even more. Makes it even more happy. That is excellent. There we go. Take a sip of some water. Keep myself all hydrated. It's very warm here actually today. Even in, lock in lockdown.
course, the weather's really nice in Britain, which is, it's sun shining, it's still like, it's gone like five o'clock, sun's still out. This is unknown in this, well, actually it's got more, east, more known over the last few years, thanks to climate change, I guess, but uh, yeah, it's kind of unknown, really. I mean, lovely weather. I mean, it's the only positive out of this lockdown that I can really find, Ap apart from giving you guys constant uh, uh, content finding the time to do it always helps as well and if you hopefully you guys are appreciating all the content as well please do let me know in the comments if you want if there's anything you want me to cover whilst we're in this lockdown no i won't go to war with the franks i just made peace with the franks not long ago rebellion yes expected and then belgica hasn't actually rebelled yet um forget it I can't bribe this. Why can't I bribe him? You've not got the influence? Oh, what an idiot. Decree it? Why don't you don't have... Intimidation. Loyalty. Yeah, I guess. We'll intimidate him. <laughs> sure, we'll intimidate the guy. Um, and then Elsa, you can just get his loyalty back up. There you go. It's like nothing ever happened. I don't know why I bothered with that. It's just, I guess it's fun. Adopt more people, bring them into the family. There we go, we can take this. Stab this man through the chest. He's very dead. 93 men lost. Easy. And we'll destroy all this. Uh, destroy that, we don't need that. We'll repair that and we'll destroy that. Excellent. It's annoying that everything won't get destroyed like the first time you put it down. I could make that a torp as well, but I don't really want to. I don't really want to inc increase anything here just yet though either. So I'm just going to... Well, not declare war. He's a rebel. No declaring war on this man. Cut him down, more like. Excellent. Chop this man's head off. Or just his chest. Take on the warriors. Take on what rebels uh, want to swear fealty. Oh, we can't get back in time. That's a problem. I will be that back there in time. It'll be fine. I'll support that. Anything that happens there. Uh, Zeal, you can have, I guess, you can have um, armor. You can just have... Hmm. Hostile... A chance and Roman exile because you're going to be fighting a lot of Romans and you can have cunning could be fairly handy let's put you on cunning then let's have you like so go there I actually don't even need to go that far go there oh uh, here we go we can recruit a lot of stuff here and let's put in a lot of these guys we'll have four of them um, I could probably actually get rid of all these mercenaries because I don't really want to spend the extra money when I can definitely get them for cheaper here. Fight with us. It's a good life. There we go. So we'll get... That's the first order. Uh, what can we get here? I'd like this. The dikes. Yes, definitely. We'll get some dikes going. Uh, and then... This is going to rebel. That's First fine. It can rebel. Um, whether it will be the end of the world, we'll see. I don't think it will be. I don't think anything that comes out can take anything straight away. If it can, then that's a problem, which I will deal with in time. Um, but I think we're okay, really. I mean, with garrison hit, this fleet could always be upgraded, but I don't really need to upgrade the fleet. It's just there, just to garrison, really. Uh... Again, here, Calma Dunham, not really got much I want to do with this. I'd like to upgrade stuff. Governors for these places, have they got all, have they all got um, their, like, traits? Because we have some really good ones here for governors. That one's fairly good. Can I get you a better one? Yeah, what have you got on here? Yeah, I don't want you having that. Have that. Have growth. That's for Britannia Superior. That would be really handy. That needs it more than anyone. Um, 
you have growth as well. You have public order. You've got really good stuff actually for Frisia, and then you have not got anything here. Chance of being wounded, upkeep cost, morale. Nothing there great there. What have you got here? Public order, that's good. Ah, now here we go. We could probably improve something here for him. Probably, well, yeah, this is just putting unit experience for commanded army. Let's have carrier pigeons, then you're actually sorted, and that's going to help with wealth. You're low on loyalty. Not good, right. Anyone here got the ability to strengthen that? Yes, you do. Ever so slightly, right. So you can sort that out. There we go. We'll end the turn. We've still got money left, but there's not much I can do with it. Um, there is going to be a rebellion here. Rebellions are imminent just about everywhere at the moment, but I just need them to sort themselves out. Yeah, Maximania, Sequarium as well. That's fine. They're all going to be... There's going to be rebellions that are going to happen, but if we kill them off a few times, then they'll sort them out. And they'll fall into line, and they'll be just like Britain, happy and healthy. Well, that's what I hope, anyway. Oh, someone's cleared off my rebels for me. How good of them. And now we have this army that can then go on a fresh march. And, oh, there we go. We have the rebellion here in Duracorum. That's fine. That is fine. We can deal with that. Western Romans, are they going to come out and attack us? I doubt it. I didn't take much of a pounding um, when taking that C. Join your mighty Everyone really wants me to attack the Franks. Don't know what the Franks did wrong. I mean, I definitely drew you all into that war. That definitely was how it went, and you've just not made peace. And I've uh, dipped out of that war, but... That's for another day. We, we deal with those problems another day. Pope avoiding his problems. Castration? Jeez! I can make him blind. Make him blind. Good God! Castrate this man. <laughs> oh no, I didn't. I, bl I blinded him. Probably worse. At least being blind, he can't see to make revenge. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Um, yeah, 2 plus integrity when in allied territory. I don't really need growth. Oh, I guess growth for local promise could be handy. Ambush. I don't need really fight many ambushes, but r fighting Romans we do a lot at the moment. We do a lot of fighting Romans. Um, don't need really to upgrade the army. It's just literally a garrison army. This is also a huge garrison army, which we don't really need. Okay, let's first improve public order. Um, right, let's improve public order there. Let's put... Wait a minute, does that take food? That doesn't take food straight away. It doesn't cost food at all until there. Um, but I'm going to still go with that. I'm going to go with one of them, which helps with sanitation, which is great. And then I'll put in one of them. Knock that down. Smithy's now up. So we can actually recruit good troops from here now. Or some good troops. We can actually get a couple. Um, it's They're fine recruiting there. That's fine. Um, Let's actually put more stuff on, ready for order. Ooh, lancers. I'm kind of tempted. We've got we've got so much money coming in now. I could definitely afford the lancers. Um, heck, let's go and buy four units of lancers. That's going to be a good army. That's probably going to be the best army we have. Um, these guys are a bit trash, but we can phase them out as well. Put in some more Saxon spears. Ronsmagus is going to rebel again. It just seems inevitable. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with this place to make it happy. Um, what could we do to make this place happy? Why is it hate? Immigrants. It's 17. Wow. 
Um, and Germanic paganism is not going up, which doesn't help. And the Geats are going to take a uh, look done by the looks of it. I might be best just abandoning this settlement. It's constantly going to rebel. We'll see. I mean, Germanic paganism probably will go up with this going in. If not, then it'll certainly go up with the next one, you would have thought. Maybe not. Who knows? But uh, I could always just get rid of one of these. Uh, I could get rid of one of these. This is putting up plus seven public order. Don't know what else it wants me to do. Uh, Octodurum is part of this. Salmon, I will go for this one eventually. It is next on the list. Probably with this army when it arrives. Or this army. Uh, we still have 5,000. Sheesh. Um, put in. No, we'll put in a military wharf. We'll increase this military wharf, make it even better. Don't know why. Actually, no. Is there anything in Britain we can build? Ah, we could upgrade this. We could nearly convert that. Oh, this, yeah, doesn't actually take a lot to upgrade. Could increase this. This would help with public order and wealth. Food consumption would be a problem in squalor, but I'd be fine with putting a tavern in there. Actually, yeah, I'd rather put a tavern in than build a better port, which we don't really need. Faction encountered. That's great. Um, you've all yielded your stuff. Demolition. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, let me kill someone. What a shame. Right. You've got stuff to do. Horsa, you are a governor. A governor. Research weight. Research rate. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, no, don't really care about that. We will increase authority. And we'll also increase him being a judge. He will be a better judge. He will keep this place on track. And there we go. We continue to grow, grow the Saxon kingdom. Hopefully we can get a battle. Um, I don't know how long is left of the... Uh, about 10 minutes is about left of the episode. So we'll see if we can get a battle in then. If not, the Romans are, are seeming to disappear. I may go for Octodora on this turn because it looks like the Geats are going to try. And we don't want those flipping geats getting stuff. I mean, that's perfectly fine with them getting stuff, to be honest, because they are an ally. And the Romans may strike back. Yeah, I mean, they look like they're still pretty strong in uh, Spain, is what I was going to say. But we are being called to arms against the Gruthungarians. Yes, I will side with my ally. We're at war with the Gruthungarians now. As are the Vandals who are causing havoc in Spain. Very historically accurate, that but the Allens are still alive, which is also a surprise. Ah, and there we go. A rebellion has happened. Duty calls the spirit of the forest. Okay, right. Well, um, none of these guys are that great for, I guess, you're probably the best. But you're really not. None of you are really actually warriors, I guess. We can put you in. Yeah, you're all just, yeah, you're all pretty awful. Osman can take it on. And there we go. So he's... Oh, he's in this army here. This... Actually, that's not the the best army, but it is a very good army. Um, but yes, we'll definitely want to try and get him on side. Maybe even adopt him. A bloody revenge. Oh, Elsa was killed! No! God damn it. Well, I'm going to make you my heir. You are the heir. I don't know where you are. The heir. Where is he? Oh, is he a governor? He might be a governor. He is. He's a governor of Frisia. Well, did not even see that coming. That's blooming annoying. I could have actually made horse my heir. Oh, he's also a governor. So it doesn't really matter. I have no generals as sons now. It's a shame, apart from my king, who is, of course, still going For strong. The For the tribe, in indeed. Um, I could take Octodoron. I will. I'm going to move... I'm going to move the other army up, for instance, in Colonia Ecrepiana, to deal with it. Uh, to deal with, uh, like, any... 
problems in this region. There you go. You can take that. Occupy that. Take. Now we have iron. That's very handy. Uh, no, this army here can move to Argentorum. I mean, look, we're going to have a rebellion here again. It's inevitable now looking at that. Never a good sign. Um, let's just convert you to a top. Excuse me. I'm trying to do stuff. Convert you to a top. Repair you. Destroy you. Repair you. And I will put a food in here. I will put food in here. Because we could do with more food. We're actually minus 77 currently. And then we'll deal with... Uh, well, then we'll start to make this place a lot happier. And nicer. And people like us here. That sort of thing. Um, so yes, we are all... This is actually the first time in a long time we're out of money. And yes, you can attack there. Do the same old thing again. Take these guys out. Stab him in the face. Dead you are. Good day to you, sir. Ready for orders. So you're actually still rebelling anyway, so I should probably actually let you just rebel for a turn or two. You won't rebel this turn, that's fine. So I can save both of those settlements if needs be. So it looks like Northern Gaul's going to be a constant problem, which is all, which is great. Just what I need while I'm marching down south. Um, right, so... Gonna, there's not really anything I can put on here that I would be like, yes. This is amazing. I guess we'll put you in. Upkeep cost, that's great. Um... Local province. There's some really good ones here, and just they're going to be wasted. Uh, I guess put chief eunuch in for mercenary units. You don't have any merc units. That's not the end of the world. Hostile chance. Yeah, put barbed armor in. Yeah, that can work. And then also have cunning. That can sort that out. Excellent. Right. So yeah, this army's looking very good now. Nearly, uh, well, to the size and standard that I'd like it. It's going to cost a bomb, but we're going to still have a lot left, so it's fine. And then we can carry on south. We're now on the borders of uh, Milan, which is a very nice city, city that I'd like to go after. Oh, Septimania. They've risen up. Okay. For my people's can I make any non-aggressions with you? Didn't think so. Thought you'd say no. I can offer a daughter. No. You're not interested in my daughters. I shall make a, ba a bond between... No, talk. I won't. I'd like to make a bond between some we peoples. Need of talk, I'm sure. But we also need good food. There we go. Warm I'd like some money. Warm women. Well, here's a warm woman. She is of a... Uh, she's fairly good. I would give her a 32 out of 32 because that's how old she is. She's uh, still of an age of making children. There we go. 2,000 for her. That's the dowry I expect for you marrying her. Right. What else can we do? Not much. Could I possibly interest anyone in any more trades? Oh, you've expanded my little tributary. Excellent, excellent. Keep it up. Oh, the Scalavians, which are back come, here. Come, let me hear your talk. I don't care about you. Antians. Come, come, let me hear your talk. I won't. No, you can have it for nothing. No, I didn't think that'd be the case. Thought you'd do something like that. Uh, Groot Hungarians love nobody here. They, I'm not well loved the further east you go. Rugians, though, they could probably start Safe to like friend, me a little bit more. Let us talk and let us have Let's have a look. Let's have a look. No Moderate. More. Yes, thought that'd be the case. Where else do you own then? You own two settlements. You own this as well. Oh, you do Duna. Up here. I've never never looked at this settlement. They must have just like populated it. I don't know. Caledonians. Greetings to you. I trust you come with honourable. I would really like if you'd, uh, I don't know, like me a bit more. I look for trade. Why have we not got trade with you? 
But I trust you will not object to a cup of wine first. Why have we not got trade with you then, hey? Why have we not got trade? I'm gonna demand at least 2,300 off you, sir. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, now we have enough money to upgrade that settlement that I'd like to upgrade, which is down here. I mean, I could possibly do that. No, I couldn't do that one. Well, we'll upgrade this one. Make it a village. Make Kalma Dunham a village. It's now well protected within our lands. Uh, and that's fine. And that's probably... We'll end the turn for one final time. No, we won't because we've got stuff to do. You're a general. Well, you can have that and you can have integrity, I guess, as well. What's this? Yeah, and then we'll probably start going down that way. There we go. End the turn. So it does look like we're probably not going to find a battle unless the Romans come out of nowhere. Do you join the war? You demand... I join the wars against these people. Well, they do hate me anyway, so why not? I'll take your thousand off you. Oh, Octodoron, there we go. They destroyed my rebel problem. Good of them, how good of them. Just gonna, I don't know, you know, cause more problems later on. Destroying the rebels now. But, it's fine. I need to really spam out some more buildings. Of good, and yeah, it looks like the Geats are gonna take that. Hopefully they can convert the whole province to Germanic paganism, because I really can't. I actually probably should have a look and see whether it's worth changing or converting myself. Because the further south I go, Germanic paganism is getting weaker and weaker. Now it's probably worth nothing in this part of the world because there is definitely no Germanic paganism there yet. Rebellion's happened, yes, but we it's been destroyed. A rebellion's going to happen in Belgium, yes, we know. Matter of state. Well, we'll sort that out immediately. This army is ready to go. It's going to go back here. The king's army is going to be the one that's going to be used to... Uh, Continue any campaigns now. Frisia has also grown. Excellent. Well, I would like it to be something to do with this. So we're going to put a town center in and we're going to put that to uh, basically be improving my uh, public order there. We have 7,000. I could convert Octodoran as well. I would rather not. I'd rather convert something back in Britain. There are a few still that need converting. So yes, we'll put Corinum on. And there we go. And then nearly all of Britain's done. It's just like the city there. And that is it. That will be it. A turncoat though. A turncoat. We can't have him. A fugitive has sent, has arrived. Claiming to be an agent of a former ri rival. He's sent to asylum. Da -da -da -da. Send him back. I'm not giving him asylum. He may be a traitor. Uh, may be betraying us. Later. Can't have that. Or he may just be a spy. It may just be all be a bluff. Don't know what I'm going to go with next. I think I might go with that. Takes five turns. That's not too bad. And then what would that allow us? What's this whole tier going to Sanitation. Okay. Uh, oh, more tax. Oh, no, more food. Okay, that one gives us a lot of tax, though. That's always useful. Replenishment. Recruitment, campaign movement. Ah, okay. Well, we're nearly through all those, so that's fine. Um, and yes, you're all nearly done. Are you slowly going to convert to Germanic paganism? It looks like you are, which is excellent because I could really do with that converting soon. Food is actually a massive problem here. This is minus seventy-two. Um, yeah, we could definitely do with converting these to food. They had minus 30 just because of the food. And this one's minus 10. So we could get that down to minus 4, uh, down minus 40, down to 32. Then we could certainly try and improve this one. And that would help that. And that actually would be massive. So yeah, it seems like food's the main problem here. I don't know about here. Immigrants. They don't like blooming immigrants here. What have they got against immigrants? Anyway, let's look at summary. I'm slowly actually still going up and... Uh, Paganism, Celtic paganism is actually rising quite nicely as well as is, well, everything else. Latin Christianity going down. A great shame. But yes, anyway guys, that's probably where I'm going to wrap up this episode for today. Um, we've made some progress and unfortunately we didn't have a battle. Um, but yes, we have made some progress into basically taking this entire... 
brought to ourselves Maxima Sequorum. Oh, I don't know how it's basically a part of Gaul, the like basically Alsace Lorraine, isn't it? Um, and now we can strike into Italy, and we're not far from completing our goal. We only have to probably take about five or six settlements before we can get to Rome. Yeah, probably about five or six, and then we can take Rome. And this campaign will be over. So do start thinking in mind what you'd like to have as the next campaign. I'm open to all offers and uh, I will see what I can do. But anyway, Legionnaires, until next time, bye for now.